Hey, good day. My name is Dan Roosgaard. I'm an artist and designer from Rotterdam, the Netherlands. So what happens when architecture has the ability to see? Uh, that is sort of the general theme of this uh, Shenzhen Biennale. Um, and I think it's a really fascinating topic. And which are sort of two scenarios. One is a George Orwell, yeah, or which technology is used to dominate us, to control, and we have become robot food. But the other scenario is Leonardo da Vinci, where technology and design helps us to improve ourselves. The city becomes a body which takes care of us, which, which looks for us, which helps us. And I feel very much related to, to that second scenario. Um, we've worked on Waterlicht, yeah, an installation which via LED and humidity shows how high the water level would be because of uh, rising sea level. So suddenly we show that the city can feel uh, what happens when there is a risk of flood, what, how a future world can look like. Or June, thousands of fibers would react to the sound and motion of people walking by in pedestrian tunnels. Or smog-free towers which sort of feel pollution, suck it up, clean it and release it. Uh, so people can enjoy clean air parks in heavily polluted cities like Beijing, in Dalian, in Delhi. So the notion of using technology and sensibility to improve life eh, and to make cities and landscapes which are good for people, that's the focus we should have on. So uh, it's great to be part of this and um, we look forward to, to keep you inspiring in the future world. Best wel spooky. <laughs> Spacey. Ja. Wat ik het gevoel dat ik erbij krijg is een beetje onderwaters. Dat je onder een, een, een laag zit. Ja, best wel mooi, vind ik. With the waves above us. And it's, it's magnificent. Ik weet natuurlijk dat we beneden het zeeniveau zitten. Maar ja, zoals je het zegt, zou dat uh, niet zo fijn zijn als ik dit opeens over me heen ga voelen. Nee. Pollution. It's really weird that we accept it as something normal and take it for granted. I wanted to create a place where citizen, makers, NGOs and governments can experience clean air. A bubble of clean air where people can think, meet and work together 
how to make a whole city smog-free. It's a place created by the largest air purifying in the world, which can travel a smog-free tower. In the future, waste should not exist. By putting the captured smog particles on the high pressure, we create smog-free rigs. And so by sharing a smog-free ring, you donate a thousand cubic meter of clean air to the city where the smog-free tower is in.